Hi all, welcome to John's Model Making. Now for the very last time, we have the Titanic. This is stage 190, no more after this. The engine is looking perfect, you can see it back there. Uh, I've got the parts here, and we're going to fit these along with this uh, blade as well. And like I said uh, in the previous uh, two stages, um, if you want a second blade, and you've not got a second propeller I should say, um, if you've not received one, get in contact with Hachette. They will sort it out for you. Anyway, let's start with stage 190. Okay, now, stage 190. There we go, over the put here. This is where the parts for the Nexus U usually sat. Uh, your model of Titanic, one of its large scale reciprocating engines are now complete. Yeah, we hope you enjoyed it. And there's the propeller on the stand. Excellent. And in the magazine, Walking on Air. Ally Jones? Nope, it's not. Oh, that's it. <laughs> I forgot I'd read this as well. Yeah, still a cracking article. And here we have the propeller and nameplate. So we have pedestal for figurine, pipe joints times three, hand wheel, front pipe tap, pipe fitting, front pipe section two and one, front pipe one, front pipe short side, front pipe two, propeller display stand upright, propeller blade, figurine, nameplate, propeller display stand base, double sided sticker. XMTM screws. So we have got a little bit of pipe work to pop into place because uh, we do love doing all this, don't we? More and more detail, the better. And then we've got the blade again. Well, the last of uh, the third blade to pop on that propeller, and then it's completed. And then we can have a look at it working again. And like I said, I have got another propeller on the way. There's the nameplate, and there's our little figurine. You put him anywhere, you don't need to put him just there. I'm not putting him there, I'm putting him up somewhere else. And there we go, then we can test it again. And there's the instructions for testing it as well as. Yeah, excellent. Now, if anybody has got a spur remote control, please let me know because I have got somebody who desperately needs it. Um, he's on the engine, but he can't get the remote control. So if you do have a spur one, please get in contact. Okay, no, let's get on with the build. Okay, let's get the parts out. Okay, those are the parts. Lots of fiddly pipe work. There's a stand. There's that last blade. There's a figurine with his little transparent stand. We'll have to glue that in place as well. And there's our name plate. Okay, no, step one we have glue the pipe fitting 190E. Which is this little piece, as you see it coming around the corner to you. And it goes into the top there. And to that pipe at the back. And it does, it's supposed to reach this pipe at the back here. Right, I popped a little bit of super glue on the end of that pipe. So we can get 190 in, 190E in. There we go. That's that in place. So I'll let that set. Okay, I've got uh, 190E attached to 185B. Uh, so I'm going to pop a little bit of glue on there. Uh, because it's got to pull this out otherwise. And now we can drop that in to the top just there. A 189 Gee, that was really fiddly. <laughs> there you go, you can see it all connected up. Excellent. That's step one. Okay, now step two we have 190H and 190G, them two go together. Uh, yeah, like that, I need to glue them. I think oh, that's not bad, that actually, but it still needs gluing. And then on the ends, we've got 190B. So I'll get these uh, three things glued together. Okay, there we go. That's what I've just put together. Now there's two holes there for them two pegs. And that end goes into the first hole on this pipe just here, which you can't actually see at the moment on camera, but I'll get the bottom ones in first. And this just presses into a hole on this pipe. It's the first hole anyway. You can just about see it. There we are. 
Oh, it's gone into place. Just there. <laughs> and there's the other end. Just here. Okay, now step three, we have 190B, 190K, 190D, 190F, and 190C. Our 190B will go on the end here, just like they always seem to do. There we go, that sits nicely there. And then we want 190D, which is this very small piece, which has a D-shaped connection. That will go into here, and it's the right way around like that and then this end of 190F will go into here that end of 190K like that and then we want the wheel the hand wheel 190C on the bottom there which I need to glue into place now this pipe work we just put together goes into that hole there. Right. Let's see if I can I'll have to move the camera. There you go, you can see it. Just here. Alongside this other pipe that we put in before. That's that in place. Excellent. And all we're left with with the pipe work is 190J, which will go into them two holes just there and there, and then that link up here. Just in. Well, it would have done. <laughs> it goes into there anyway. I'll get that glued in place to show you in a sec. There we go. You can see the pipe went now, just here, coming along into this configuration here and you can see the two wheels on the top down here there we go just in front of my tweezers excellent stuff okay now we've got the uh, propeller to complete yeah put the third blade on just there like that and we have a couple of tm screws There we go, lots of TM screws in place. We need the dummy nuts now. The small ones go over where the screws are, and then we've got longer medium ones on. So I'll get them in place and I'll show you in a sec. Right, I'm popping in a couple of the long decorative nuts um, into here and the one next to it as well, hopefully, anyway. Sometimes they don't want to go, these. See, so that one doesn't want to go in there. <laughs> Oh, there it is. It's gone down now. <laughs> I thought, typical. I've got the others in all right. I've had to cut down these small ones that cover the actual TM screws um, because they were just a little bit too proud for my liking. Right, that one should go into there. Yeah. Doesn't always work. <laughs> There you go, got it in, I had to close it down with some pliers. Awkward as out. <laughs> and this is the last medium length decorative nut. There we go. I say they should all go in, um, but uh, they can be a little bit awkward. There we go. Like in Bolly. Excellent. And there we go, there's our propeller. Brilliant, looking cool. Okay, that should just pop onto there. Just like that. Excellent. Right, I'll have to give that a whirl. I have to take that sleeve off. I don't know whether I should have or not, but we'll give that a whirl and find out afterwards. That's a better fit. Yeah, I'll put the sleeve back on. Right, we'll test that in a minute. Right, now we can pop the stand together. Uh, D-shaped connection just there like that and we'll keep these together with one XM screw There we go, so the second propeller will go on here Excellent, pop that to one side, get our little man Before we get our little man we need to pop the plate onto here Ooh, nice 
So I've got a sticky tape on here first. Uh, there we go. Doesn't have to be exact square. Take the back end off. There we go. And we'll get this into place. Just here. Should be lined up nicely. Brilliant. There we go. There's our name plate. Oh, pressed down nicely. There's our name plate. Looking cool. And I popped the little figurine into the stand and glued it. And there he is. Looking cool. I think I might pop mine up here actually. So you can overlook what's going on below. There he is. Loving it. Excellent stuff. Okay, now time for the test. Let's let's switch around first. Excellent stuff, looking beautiful. There we go, excellent. That's stage 190 complete. Etc. Bye. Oh, there we go, folks. There is the engine with that propeller blade on, or blade, three bladed propeller, I should say. There we go. Looking beautiful. All that fiddly pipe work, and it looks absolutely stupendous. There we go. Excellent, that ducting looks great as well. There we go, just need my second propeller from Hachette and then, well it's going on the shelf back there anyway in that cupboard. And there'll be a light over the top of it so it will look brilliant. So that is it, after, what is it, four years, nearly four years of doing the Titanic, the ship, seeing all that. And now the engine, and that looks absolutely brilliant. I was uh, being a geek the other day and was adding up how many parts we actually fitted. And I, went, um, I only got from 166 to 189 and I counted over 400 parts 
that is not including these dummy nuts and screws. <laughs> but yeah, over 400 packs, and that's only part of the build, like probably half the, yeah, about half the build. Um, so, yeah, not bad at all. It looks brilliant. Absolutely love it. Anyway, there we go. So, yeah, sad ending. Um, no more Titanic, but there's always other models on the horizon. We've got the uh, 89 Batmobile and the Oracle Red Bull RB19 on my channel as well. So if you like them, tune in and have a look. Anyway, um, it's been great listening to it, all of you uh, getting in contact with me and uh, sending your comments and all your thanks, of course, um, from everywhere in the world, from what I can see, um, from Japan all the way to Argentina. Uh, I've had comments. It's been absolutely brilliant. Um, I did not know so many people were interested in the Titanic worldwide, but obviously, looking back at the history of it, with all the people that perished, you know, they came from all over the world, and uh, which you know, which is sad, and I think that's why it touched so many people's hearts. But it's been an absolute pleasure um, putting these videos out, building the ship and this engine. Um, I don't think I'll get another build as good as this ever. <laughs> but uh, there we go. Anyway, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for watching and thanks for tuning in. Stay safe. Bye for now.